we're doing two things today. First, we're gonna take you to the spot that made us fall in love with LA. And two, Amar and I are gonna tell you about the story where we turned down a $100,000 check from an investor who wanted to invest in an app we were working on. Before you call us idiots, hear us out. See you later, boys. God, I love you boys. Look how tall this guy is. Terry, where are you going, uh, where are you leaving to today? Uh, I'm going to the Cannes Film Festival in France. Very excited, I've never been to France before. I cannot wait. Why are you going? I'm going to sell a show. <laughs> I'm super excited, uh, going with some amazing people, and we're gonna talk to a bunch of people there to try to sell one of our really important shows that we love. It's called Climactic. I think we mentioned it before. It's gonna be a huge. Yeah. Huge. It's pretty good. We just thought instead of sitting down on a desk in the house and telling you our stories, we'd rather go out, show you somewhere new, and still tell your stories this way. It's like a, a double one. All right, we've arrived at the lookout. At the beginning of the lookout point, there's a bit of a hike to get there and then a bit of a climb. I think this, so. is, this, is, like, this is the highest point I've ever gotten to in LA. Okay, we're a little lost right now. Uh, we're supposed to get up here somewhere. Whoa. We're gonna go sit right there on the edge of that cliff. This is the only way to get there. I'm just gonna climb on the side of this thing. It's kind of steep. of the day we turned down a hundred thousand dollar check so this is actually a huge reason why Amar and I became friends in the first place not turning down that check but actually bonding over tech uh, both of us had worked on startups before for several years we would both tried to start uh, different apps and at the time we were also dead broke we were actually living on a friend's couch but we said no for very specific reasons and it was very calculated so I hope that by the end of this explanation you'll understand what about I give you a little bit of context on what I was working on and how Thomas came into play with everything so I was in school I met a friend there his name is Oscar and we came up with an idea for a tech startup called one up it was basically a video sharing platform that had a very unique concept. So I was in Montreal temporarily visiting from the West Coast. Within my time in Montreal, I made a few connections with investors. And during that process, I met Thomas. So I had a meeting. I had a meeting like, I had a meeting the day I came to your apartment for the first time. My idea was that right after he does his video project, which was at the time Project 30, we would start working on the app together. So we became friends because I told him about a story where I had figured out a way to hack my school, kind of. Like I was able to email all the engineers that went to McGill and tell them about the app that I was working on. And I got hundreds of applicants, all from like PhD students, master students, all these engineers to work for us. And I told that to Amar and he was like, oh shit, I time, need engineers I, right now. Yeah. Basically the investment was conditional upon me having two engineers. They basically had the checkbook on the table ready to sign and we walked out saying no thanks. So maybe now we should explain why we said no and how this makes sense being broke. Which brings us to the first reason we said no. There's four reasons why we said no and we'll explain all four. But the first one is basically timing. At the time we had just finished filming Project 30, we had become best friends and we felt like there was a calling for us to really go full force into this project. And stick together of course. Yeah and stick together and so we just didn't feel like it was the right time to start an app and take money from an investor and commit to something so huge. The second one is any money you take comes with the strings attached. So we kind of realized quickly that by taking this money we'd have to stay in Montreal in Canada for two years 
and probably cut down the time we spent on the YouTube channel and that would completely jeopardize I mean, our ability to continue making videos whatsoever. So obviously these investors have expectations from us. Picture yourself giving 100 or $120,000 to two kids to go build something, you're probably gonna expect them to spend a lot of time on it. And that is the perfect segue for the third reason of why we turned down this money. Strategy. Strategy is the most important thing when you're first starting a company. It's the, no, it's the thing that you have to focus on the most, especially when you're about to take a lot of money from someone. In our minds, what we were doing with the videos was building a movement and we were starting to see very early signs of this movement coming to being with people supporting us from around the world. So it made more sense for us to continue building this movement and continue growing into, into something even bigger and then launching a product that would potentially support this movement. The fourth reason is be super picky with your investors. When you go to an investor and ask for money, you're not just asking for money, you're asking for mentorship and you're asking to access their network. Well, so these guys were bankers and real estate investors. Exactly. And that's why like they weren't, this was one of the first times they were actually investing in tech. And we're extremely grateful that they, you know, even wanted to take the risk with us. It just didn't feel like the right thing. So we stood up, turned back around, said no to a $120,000 check that was ready for us. So if there is one lesson, it is to just always follow your intuition. When you feel something is right, just make sure you stick to it. With two years of hindsight, I still think we made the right decision. Absolutely. So. Also, another thing we have to mention is that we will have the opportunity to travel to any city in America uh, next week. So we really want to know where you want us to go. So tell us in the comments which city in America we should go to, why, and maybe even like a cool thing for us to do there. If there's like a crazy abandoned place or if there is Just an awesome uh, adventure that we can go on. Yeah, an amazing adventure that we could go on or, or something for us to see. Meet up. So vote in the comments, let us know, and we might go to the one you guys end up voting for. Yes. Thank you very much. Subscribe, like this video, and uh, yeah, get to voting. Can, we do, some, to can see we do something? What do you think? I don't know if, if we're allowed to do this, but what? what about we play like 10, 15 seconds of the celebration yesterday we had after wrapping up the first shoot with a Yes fan member joining us for an adventure. Yeah, let's do that right now. Let's do we'll it. just play like five to ten seconds.